Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Yep, my voice just cracked because I've got a bit of a cold, but let's get into some teaching. Let's learn some stuff, guys. For those of you that are new to I Illustrator, uh, this tutorial is for you if you're a seasoned pro. Well, I don't know. You might learn something, you might not. But anyways, let's get right into this, guys. We're going to show you how to use the freeform, you basically freeform drawing, or how to create your own freeform um shape so to speak so the way to do that is generally there's a few ways to do that but I'm going to show you how to do it using the pencil tool uh, what you want to do is you want to go to your tools on the left side your toolbar you want to click on the paintbrush tool which is this one but then you want to drop it down to the pencil tool this is where we're going here now when you go to the pencil tool just like that you bet this little pencil head here and you're going to see here on the right side in the properties panel that I have no fill and I have a stroke of four pixels you will probably have a default stroke of, of one pixel, but I'm just going to up it to five pixels because it's, e it's easier to see. But again, you can select pixels, whatever you want. Now, the second thing I like to do is I'm going to double click on top of this pencil here. So right here, double left click, and you're going to see here that you get some pencil tool options. In particular, you get accurate and you get smooth. Now, smooth is basically when you draw something freehand kind of thing and but you want it to smooth the path out so it's right like if you're if you're using a mouse for example and you're drawing with a mouse it's very hard to uh, get a great drawing with a mouse or or a, or a trackpad as opposed to say a um, a tablet or a, or a drawing tablet or something like that or an iPad Pro or whatever um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move it down to the fidelity down to accurate so it actually tracks exactly what my fingers does also, you're going to want to keep this keep selected tag uh, checkmark generally. Um, we'll talk about that a little later maybe, but uh, you want to make sure that checkmark's on. And off we go. Now, we're using the pencil tool. And now, if I wanted to draw, let's just say I wanted to draw a squiggle, I would just draw like this, whatever. It's really rough and ugly. And bang, I've got a freehand, freeform drawing here. I'm going to click on that, and boom, you'll see this is what we got. I'm going to do another one here. Let's use the pencil tool. And this time I'm going to draw it like this. It's really ugly. Again, you'll see here that all these different points, Illustrator, when we zoom in, it's created all these different little reference points that actually you can go in and manipulate as well. So just so you guys know, if you wanted to make a change to it, uh, let's say that point doesn't seem right. Boom, it's now changed. But anyways, that's not really what we're doing in this lesson. So uh, the other thing I want to show you is you can go ahead and create um, closed loops. So these are what are called open paths. So they, they start here and it ends here, but they're not closed. They don't close together, right? Let me show you an example of a closed one. So I'm going to go again back to the pencil tool. I'm going to just draw some mush here. Okay, great. But now when I hover the pencil tool over the... Uh, the start of where we started here, pardon me, you'll see here it goes from an asterisk star looking thingy to a straight line. What that means is we're closing the loop. So now I've started and when I start drawing, it's now drawing from that original path or that original start. And then as I get closer here, you'll see the circle and that means it's closing the loop. That's basically what a circle is and that's what we're doing. So here we go, we've got a closed loop. And now when I click on this, when I click on our, our selection tool and I go to move it, you'll notice that it is one shape. We built it with multiple freeform uh, drawings, but we closed it together. So this is really the basics of the pencil tool, how to do freeform drawings, guys. It gets a lot more complicated, but for those of you that are new to Illustrator, this is how you get the ball rolling. I hope you liked this tutorial. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Thanks for watching.